Good afternoon. Welcome to Tele Islas News with the most relevant and important information of the day. A police captain who allegedly facilitated the trafficking and transport of cocaine in a light aircraft that was seized in May 2021 was charged by the Attorney General's office. After the rains recorded over the weekend, residents of District 4 complain about the state of the Carrera 13, which again collapsed, generating holes and mud that make transit impossible due to the drizzle. The road was provisionally intervened in recent days by the departmental government. It rained again. It has made the same puddle as before. You are going to show images of the road, which is in very bad condition. The call to the government is to actually press on their hearts. Let's make this road more passable. That is, also serves the ambulance, the medical services, the police, and many people who travel on this road. We need it in optimal conditions. Here what we want is to fix the road properly. They throw mud on it. Here the people are always on the road. People are always on their motorcycles. Here you can't walk from here to there with a little serenity. The departmental government has stated on several occasions that it is working on the definitive intervention project for Carrera 13, but the inhabitants of District 4 indicate that every time it rains, it is impossible to access the area. The smuggling of beer and liquor is one of the phenomena faced the consumers and the departmental administration. The Treasury Secretariat is carrying out a campaign in order to put an end to the smuggling and the gangs that engage in this. In order to verify that liquors and beers that are subject to exercise tax comply with the provision of last 1762 of 2015, which allows the government to strengthen and continue with dismantling of gangs and criminal organizations engaged in smuggling, custom fraud, illegal export and money laundering, the anti-smuggling team of the Finance Secretariat conducted inspection in nightclubs and bars during the weekend. We have been making visits to commercial establishments, verifying the liquors, cigarettes and beers that are sold in the establishments, as well as to the end consumer in discotheques and bars. According to Vilma Ricaute, so far this year more than 1,000 awareness campaign have been carried out from January 26 to August 31st. 1,225 awareness campaigns have been carried out between the commerce sector, general population and young people. The purpose is to create awareness among the general population regarding the consumption of liquor, cigarettes and beer and that they may get to know how to recognize when they are in good condition for consumption. During the activity it was found that the products for sale in commercial establishment contain exercise tax stamp. Likewise the general population was made aware of how to verify these products before the consumption. The weather conditions for the next few days in the department are isolated rains with low intensity and a high swell. At the same time, the government invites community not to lower their guard and to, and to be attentive to official information since we are in hurricane season. The port captain indicates that in the next few days, isolated rains are expected. A majorly favorable weather is expected in the department. For this week, it is possible that we will have light to moderate rains, since it is expected that Hurricane Fiona, which at this moment is positioned at the height of Puerto Rico, will have an indirect effect. The recommendation is to follow the cars by the Maritime Channel and all the recommendations. It's worth noting that the Maritime Authority Authorities recommend the Maritime Guild to be attentive to the reports provided daily, which must be followed to avoid emergencies at sea. In other news, in other strengthening mental health on the islands, the Social Development and Health Secretariats met with some of the archipelago's young people. To prevent suicidal behavior in adolescents and young people on the island, the job program together with the Health Secretariat continues to join efforts for this purpose. The Secretary of Social Development talked a little about the activities that took place at the meeting. 
In an event to commemorate the International Suicide Prevention Day, we invited the young people to a conversation where they themselves were talking. People from the religious sector, pastors, psychologists, people from the artistic sector, who were talking about mental health and its importance for young people. Today, when we look at the statistics about mental health, we see that the highest rate of self-harm and pathologies associated with mental health are found among young people because of the challenges and violence they face in their environment. We hope that this would be a space to make a visible and public health issue, but above all, a human issue that is suicide and especially begin to destigmatize what surrounds mental health. Departmental Youth Counselor Sebastian Torres gave his perspective on the importance of a meeting on mental health. The important thing about this is that it does not end in just one place, but that it continues to be replicated in other places where there are young people. It doesn't matter if they are in remote places. We must reach them so that they can participate in the one hand to express themselves and on the other hand so that they can be heard. The main objective of the meeting is to promote the social emotional learning and psychological well-being to ensure that this focus group can access comprehensive mental health care on the islands. And if you are an entrepreneur or businessman of the islands, this information is of interest to you. The national marketing platform Compra Lo Nuestro opens a call to participate in the new stage of this service. The San Andreas Chamber of Commerce offers training and support to those interested. 2,000 new micro-businesses will be able to develop financial and managerial skills to become more productive and competitive as a bet on commercial reactivation for micro-businesses. The national marketing platform Complaro Nuestro open a call for entrepreneurs and businessmen of the archipelago. John Manuel, Director of Businesses Development of the Chamber of Commerce, spoke about this. They invite uh, people who manage business here in San Andres and Providence to get access to this new convocatory in Colombia Compra Lo Nuestro and in at this time we they offer some course specific in merchandising, sales, logistic and different ability to manage business. We have 2,000 uh, seats to participate and the idea is we they invite the people uh, specific from here from the archipelago to apply to this scholarship and get access to this new opportunity for fertilizing business. This is an initiative that is supported by the national government new strategy to develop the social economy and promote access to e-commerce and access to barcodes. How to access this benefit and apply to the card? To inscribe, you can do it directly in the web page colombiacompralonuestro.co or uh, here locally, the, the Chamber of Commerce, we want to share the information through our uh, social media using Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We want to share the formulary if you can inscribe and fully up and participate with the scholarship. Remember that this platform seeks to make visible, connect, and bring potential buyers closer to products and or service suppliers in order to satisfy the commercial needs of the national and international companies according to their requirements, needs, and commercial conditions. A police captain who allegedly facilitated the trafficking and transport of cocaine in a light aircraft that was seized in May 2021 was charged by the Attorney General's office. In the last few hours, the Attorney General's office announced that it has failed charge against police captain Jorge Isaac Aguilar Garcia for possibly urging a lieutenant to perform a superficial search that allowed the passage of a shipment of 446 packages of cocaine and cash at the El Brujo Airport on the island of Fort Providence last year. The Attorney General's office for disciplinary instruction of the public force stated that the official allegedly used his rank to obtain help and prevent the contents of 
the boxes, which arrive in a private plane, from being thoroughly inspected and instead delivered directly to him. In a second charge, the public prosecutor office indicated that Aguilar Garcia apparently allowed and assisted in the trafficking and transportation of the drug of 102 750,000 million pesos in cash that was found in the aircraft model C90 Series LJ1065, registration number N722KR, during a flight from Guaymaral Airport in Bogota. According to the Public Prosecutor Office, Aguilar Garcia allegedly constrained people with less seniority in the institution by reiterating his rank and function, to whom he affirmed that the boxes contain humanitarian aid, thus removing himself from the public interest of his function, ignoring the purpose of his work and harming the services he should provide to the community. The Attorney General Office provisionally qualified the captain conduct as very serious and fraudulent. And now let's get to know other facts that today are making news in our brief news section. The musical band contest of Piper Boyaca to be held from October 6 to 9 and is part of the Colombian band tradition that summons musicians, apprentices, teachers and music lovers from all corners of the country will perform a tribute to the rebels group through the interpretation of its theme song, Soka Bacanal. In the mandatory phase of the contest, the participants will have to interpret the remembered theme composed by the saxophonist Louis O'Neill from San Andres and interpreted by the Nicaraguan singer Hansel Morgan. The collective intervention plan of the Health Secretariat will hold this week two training sessions for the media and the community in general on the topic of communication without harm with emphasis on suicide prevention and destigmatization of people with mental health problems or disorders on the 28th and 21st from 8 a.m. until 12 p.m. in the auditorium of the departmental hospital. During this weekend, the Special Operation Group GOES captured by court order a 26-year-old citizen for the crime of domestic violence. Also through patrol work, the police captured another citizen of 45 years old of age for the crime of damage to properties of others. With this information, we reach to the end of our broadcast, but we see you tonight at 8 p.m. with more of the latest news. Good afternoon.